welcome back to another video. I wanted to do a little bit of a different style video this week. So instead of showing you what I'm eating every single day, I just wanted to show you guys the five dinners that I'm going to be eating the next few days. So typically for dinner, I've been getting into the habit of making like different things every day just because I am feeling like in a more creative vibe, which a lot of times we just make like big pots of things in the instant pot and then we'll eat that for like days and days on end. But I kind of have a structured way that I like to make dinner because I like to get a lot of different nutrition. I've been eating just like so many fruits and smoothies and juices and stuff during the day. And then at dinner I feel like it's the time for me to like really eat a big nourishing meal and cool down for the night and just chill and eat something really satisfying. So I try to make a lot of different styles of veggies. So I'll either make like grilled vegetables, I'll make a huge salad, I'll make um, like zoodles or something like that. Just because I like to eat a lot of food and I really love vegetables and vegetables are just so great for your health. And then I usually have some kind of starch along with that which is usually potatoes or rice. So I'll just be showing you guys kind of how I put together my dinners and how I prep them and how it's really just easy to come up with so many different ideas for dinners just off the top of your head. Like if you have a few things in your house and maybe you have to go grocery shopping the next day, how can you throw together a really nourishing, satisfying dinner? Before I get into the video though, I wanna give a big thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. Audible is the leading provider of spoken Spoken word entertainment and audiobooks. Every month, members get one credit to pick any title plus two Audible originals from a monthly selection and access to daily news as well as guided meditation programs. I personally like to listen to audiobooks when I'm out on long walks with my dogs, but I've lately also been listening to them as I'm running just because I find if I listen to music, it's usually the same playlist over and over again and it just gets really repetitive and I would rather spend that time learning something new or listening to an audiobook that's really motivating and inspiring to just help change my life instead of just like the same songs on repeat. One book that I've been really getting into again is Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza. This book is really great if you wanna change your mindset around something or if you have some habitual patterns that you have kept recreating over and over again, like say that you want to get healthy or finally get on track with your weight loss or you finally you know, want to become a more productive or organized person. This is all kind of based on the science that our habits really create who we are and we have to change ourselves to change our lives and the habits that we have. With Audible, you'll also enjoy easy audiobook exchanges in your own audiobook library you keep forever, even if you cancel. And it's super easy to get Audible into your daily life. Just listen to an audiobook on your way to work, on your way home, on your way to the gym or at the gym, if you're on a hike, if you're on a long bike ride, it's super easy to be able to learn something new every single day without having to sit down and take the time to actually read a physical book. If you guys are interested, go to www.audible.com slash highcarbhanna or text highcarbhanna to 500, 500 and start listening with an exclusive 30-day trial. You'll also get one free audiobook of your choice and two Audible originals absolutely free. All right, so for tonight's dinner, I'm going to make just a really simple um, veggie mix that's probably my go-to favorite um, marinated stuff so I'll show you guys that and then I also have some potatoes that I pre-cooked in the instant pot so I just pressure cook these for 10 minutes in my instant pot and then whenever I want like really nice crispy roasted potatoes I throw them in the air fryer for 30 minutes on the highest temperature and they get really nice and crispy on the outside so I'm gonna have that as like my main starch and then while my veggies are cooking I'm also just gonna throw in one of these ears of organic corn but I will show you really quick how to make this veggie mix it's so good I love it I make it probably like a few times a week and I don't think I've ever showed you guys this before so I just have a zucchini and then I have an entire pack of button mushrooms I'm also going to use probably like a quarter of this bell pepper. All right, so I'm just going to cut everything into the same size pieces because it makes everything cook a lot more evenly. All 
So I have all my veggies chopped up in this bowl. I'm going to add some seasoning to this. So you're just going to wanna start with some tamari, and this is just going to be like a marinade. I probably use like one whole tablespoon of tamari, and then we're gonna use one to two tablespoons balsamic vinegar. We're just going to toss that really quick. And then all I'm gonna add is a little bit of garlic powder and some of this, it's like a season, like a garlic tomato blend. It has like rosemary and tomato, sage, lemon peel, porcini mushroom. If you guys don't have something like this though, you can just add Italian seasoning or like any of your favorite seasonings that you like. Toss this again. So this is a really healthy side dish. I'm just gonna let this sit in the fridge for probably an hour. And then once I'm ready to eat, I just throw this in the air fryer for 15 minutes until it's nice and cooked. All right, so here are my roasted veggies and corn. And I'm just gonna take this out and put it in a bowl and then throw these bad boys in the air fryer. All right, so I got my veggies, my corn, and then all of my potatoes. And this is gonna be my dinner tonight. Super simple, definitely try the marinade for this. It's just so good. Hey guys, so welcome back to another dinner. I just took a shower and I'm super hungry. I'm just gonna make a really easy sushi bowl tonight. So I have a bunch of steamed white rice here that I made. And then what I'm going to put on this is half of this avocado, this entire cucumber, and then I'm gonna use probably most of this carrot, some of this carrot, and some tamari. So what I like to do, because I like to add a lot of veggies to this, take my cucumber out and then I just use my peeler and I will just peel like this entire cucumber on top. And I like to do it this way because you get these little like noodles. There are all my cucumber noodles. I also just like to take my kitchen shears and cut them up a little bit. Just makes it easier to eat. And then I'm just gonna shred a little bit of carrot the same way. Put this avocado on top. I just like to dice the avocado into little squares like this and just put it on top. So yeah, this took me barely three minutes to make and it is just packed with veggies. I have my cucumber noodles, my carrot, my wasabi, my avocado, and my rice under here. This is one of my favorite dinners to make because it takes no time and it's just a lot easier than making um, sushi rolls. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I have these potatoes that I just chopped into fries and I just added a little bit of garlic salt. These are raw potatoes, so I'm just gonna throw these in the air fryer for 30 minutes and get them nice and crispy. And then with this, I'm just going to put them in these little lettuce leaves. I have some pico de gallo left over. And then I also have some homemade hummus that I'm going to mash the rest of this avocado in. This is like my favorite combo ever. If you have never tried hummus mashed together with avocado, it's how I always make my avocado toast. It's so good. So I'm gonna have that as like a little dip and I will just put it in the lettuce cups with the pico and the potatoes and then I'll just have little kind of like lettuce potato tacos. All right, so here is my dinner. I just cooked these in the air fryer with no oil for 30 minutes on 365 degrees. Got my hummus avocado mash and then my pico and I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot sauce in here. So you just take a lettuce leaf, this hummus, a couple potatoes, put some pico on top and it's just like these little tacos. So excuse my appearance right now. Um, but I'm not super hungry for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna make a salad, and then I'm just going to also eat this. 
last baked potato that I have with it. And this is probably all I'm gonna have. For my dressing here, I just have some tahini in this bowl. And then all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of lemon juice, some garlic powder, and coconut aminos, and then just a little bit of water to thin it out. So I'm just gonna put my spring greens in here. And then chop them up with my kitchen shears like you guys see me always do. This just makes it a lot easier to eat and it also helps the dressing just kind of get around the greens a little bit more. And then I always like to put the dressing in the greens first and mix it up so that just like every little inch of greens gets covered in the dressing. So if you guys don't have one of these little kitchen graters, it's a great tool because you can just take any kind of vegetable and just add like grated toppings to your salads. So I got some shredded carrot on there. I'm just gonna add some onion. And then I also have a beet that I'm gonna shred and put on here as well. And I'm just going to peel this cucumber and add like some small little cucumber noodles. This is an organic cucumber, but sometimes I find them so waxy, so I peeled the outside off first. And then I think I'm also going to add a little bit of spicy kimchi. Just a little bit, because this stuff is really salty. So yeah, tonight I'm just going to have this salad and this sweet potato. Hey guys, so tonight for dinner I'm gonna make mashed potatoes and gravy because we really don't have much food in the house right now. And I usually make my own gravy, but I don't even have the ingredients to make that, so I'm gonna just use this vegetarian brown gravy. How I make my mashed potatoes is super easy. I just peel them and put them on a steamer tray in my Instant Pot for 10 minutes. And then I take them out, mash them with soy milk, put the gravy into the Instant Pot with a little bit of the cooking water, and I'm probably gonna defrost some frozen peas as well and eat it with sauerkraut. 